Dynasty Radio, 1382. Oh, black woman is God, crown of creation, true manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment, truly excitement, black woman is God. Black woman is God, crown of creation, true manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Why they trying to get out of bliss? Black woman is God, uh, black woman is God, crown of creation, true manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Truly enlightening. Black woman is God, uh, black woman is God, crown of creation, true manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Why they trying to get out of bliss? Black woman is God. Uh, passion in the fashion, the compassion. Imagine seeing them laughing up in the classes, basking in the sun. Do a passion and they run through the meadows, ghetto. Never let go my style. Meaning my style and the culture. Not putting on scraps of crap like vultures. I hold her as an eagle. Flying freely through the skies of eyes of wise guys as she died in evil. Woman's nature is creation. Bringing spiritual to physical manifestation. Man's purpose preservation. Destruction to the wickedness, not to our own damnation. Black woman is gone. True crown of creation. True manifestation of my heart's love and energy. We've been excited all week long. Trust and believe that we mm-hmm. have the good doctor <laughs> that is That's with right. us tonight. Dr. Kaba Hiawatha Kameen. Well, y'all know him as Booker T. Coleman, but we know him as both. Okay, so we mm-hmm. want to go ahead and bring him into the conversation Peace, Doctor. Hotep to my sisters. Thank you for inviting me. Hotep. 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 We we are so excited because we know you are going to bring it. You are going to bring it. And uh, let me tell you all, for those of you who do not know who he is, shame on you. But I'm Uh going to be very nice. I'm just going to tell you that he's a teacher, a scholar, a researcher, lecturer, and a historian, okay? And so Mm. um, if you... you, um, still want to know more, or if you want to hear more from this king, he will be on um, the Rise Speaks Talk Radio, and that will be Sunday, uh, January the 13th? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, it is. Sunday, January the 13th. Don't forget to tune in to the Rise Speaks Talk Radio. We will have Dr. Kaba on that show as well, bringing the heat, but make sure you get there Get there, be there, or be square. And I also want to backtrack real quick because I forgot to tell you this. We just told you about the uh, the brothers who brought the song to us, the Black Woman is God. Well, Taj will be on our show again. This is the second appearance on our show, and it will be January the twentieth. So January January is going to be hot. Make sure y'all tune in for that. But um, our topic today, we kind of want to piggyback off of a lecture that you did before, Dr. Kaba, of the hidden wisdom in the black womb, okay? And so what we would like for you to do, because you were talking to us last week and it was just so good, it was just so good <laughs> that we were like, <laughs> you got to come on and, you and you know, you got to share it with our, our family um, because it's very good information and it was just so deep. So I'd like to give this to you. What do you want to start or do you want us to open it up? You well, can just well we can do both, my here. sister, because I know how I'd like to approach this. Well, and approach I, because I realize that, for instance, in the 60s, we, as a people, uh, began to look inward at ourselves after all that we had gone through and uh, the culminating activities of the civil rights movement, the human rights movement, and all the things that went into it, we began to talk about black is beautiful. Mm-hmm. In many ways, in some ways, it appeared that we were saying this simply to say something opposite to what had been said historically about being black. (laughs) It was ugly, that it was unacceptable, that it was ignorant, that it was primitive, that it was horrible. Mm -hmm. However, when we study melanin and we understand the scientific principles of melanin, then Science tells us that not only is black beautiful, but black is the only thing that really exists, and everything that exists outside of the black had to come through the black. 
Okay. Mm. I say that because we say that the black woman is God. Mm -hmm. It appears sometimes, sometimes, that we're saying it for many different reasons. I am saying that the black woman is God because science tells us that the black woman is God. Okay. Mm. I'm not dealing with the emotion of this. I have not come before my sisters as a male to patronize, or to speak outside of what the knowledge that I have as it relates to science, I know that the black woman is God. And science tells us this. The cosmic universe tells us this. Mm -hmm. And once we begin to understand what we mean by the word God, because you see God comes in many different forms. Mm-hmm. And we say this word, it, it sounds good, it's a German word, but what are we really saying when we use the word God, and what are we saying as it relates to when we say that the woman is God, and what is it that we're saying about the man as it relates to God? And this is why I wanted to, and I've been excited to come and to talk about this, because as a male... I qualify my statements with my sisters because I am not a woman in the form of the feminine woman. I am a, half a woman because of the nature of having a mother. So I am half woman. So when I celebrate women, I celebrate myself. All right. You, you see, I, and, and I have no problem saying this because I have a mother. And if I'm half my mother, I must be half a woman. So therefore, a woman to me is not an outside entity. Right. My daddy's chromosome happened to have decided that I would come out as a male, only to compliment when daddy's chromosome says that the creation will be a woman. So scientifically, I think that when we say that the black woman is God, I want to be serious about this. And I want to back my statements up with a clear scientific approach. Science meaning wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Coming Mm -hmm. forward with a way that our sisters, the feminine... Because remember, this conversation really came about... When I think one of the sisters that I was talking to last week, I know we had a a, a uh, conference call, mm-hmm, but, yeah. but one of the sisters said that brothers should just let sisters make the plans and do things. And then I began to elaborate on the fact that women are always the one. Mm-hmm. Finally, get see because what what I'm what what I'm what I'm what we're looking at right now as it relates to Washington D.C. We need to throw every man out of the Senate and the yeah. house, and bring some sisters up in there to make the yeah. decisions for America. Because it's obvious that the males can't handle their business. No, we. Right. Sisters, <laughs> even if their uh, personal situations may arise, there's always a sister that will always bring all the sisters together and say, look, this ain't about personality. This is about issue. The issue yeah. is about moving America forward. Mm-hmm. These men up in here are yeah. impotent. They are intellectually impotent and scholastically sterile. Wow. They wouldn't get a good idea if I planted the fetus in their head. Mm -hmm. And I think it's time that sisters, in particular sisters, because remember, black women were the only women on the planet for millions of years. Yes. Yes, and it is in the African woman's DNA. It, it's in the neuroscience. It's in the neural melanin of the feminine principle that organizes the entire earth. It is the feminine principle in the cosmos, in the universe, that created all things. Look, let me just give you the word we talk about, astronomy. Ast is the fe- means the feminine principle in ancient Kemet, ast, aset. Wife to Asar, Ast. Ra means light and heat energy. Nomi means the study of. So Ast Ra Nomi is the study of the feminine principle of light and heat energy that brought all things into existence. And if that's not the voice of God, somebody help me. 